Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Oh, I've got so many requests and thank you for that by the way. And I hope that the videos are helping you. So let's look at two things that I, I get asked commonly. And one is how to solve synthetic keys and another is circular references and um, how we can solve them. So let's look at that in this video. If you're interested, stick around. So synthetic keys, what are they? Now, if you have two or more tables and in those tables you have more than one field which is common then what click automatically does it creates a synthetic key and uh, a synthetic key over here is denoted by how many synthetic tables are, are there so it's a dollar sign synthetic so this is the first table so let's say we had another table with two more uh, which connects to a another table then you would have dollar synthetic key two and so on and so forth so if you have two or more um, data columns and um, data tables and they have two or more fields which are common then click creates the synthetic key now is this acceptable in some cases yes why because let's say that start and end you need the combination of these two to create a good association between the two table. Then in that case, the synthetic table is actually acceptable, right? Because what this does is this gives you a proper association between the two. But you know what? There's a better way to do it. So synthetic table just for the most part, do not do not use it. If you know that you have two fields which need to be combined, to make an association with them, then make the association yourself. So how how can you how can you get rid of the synthetic key? Now, first of all, it's because the two fields are named the same, right? So the first way that you could do it is by changing the field names. So here it's start, here it's end, start and end. Instead, you could change this to something else: end of length range, or start of length range or something like that so in that case you would only have one connection and the synthetic table would disappear or in a lot of cases sometimes you have multiple tables um, multiple fields here which are just common for all tables for example like comments um, uh, person object object id you know these kind of fields that come in when you pull in a data from sql um, like you you really don't need those so just take those away otherwise the third option is to create your own that is start and end you could create a key called start and end and here start and end and in that case you would only have one association between the two and the synthetic table would disappear so let's have a quick look at how we could do that um, i have an example here so in this case i have a table called customers and a table called orders and this has a field called customer id and order id which is connected to the customers table with customer id and order id so they have the same names therefore click has created a synthetic table with these two so this is essentially click saying that hey those with the same customer id and order id are connected to these two um how can we get rid of them well so what we could do here is either take away one of the fields for example we don't need order id here since we already have an association and then in that case we would only have one but one association between the two or we could create our own custom little key which says customer id and order id here as well customer id and order id and then we would have only one association as and click would take away this synthetic table um and let's look at how we could do that so i have order id here so i could just take this one away so from the customers table so let's load this and now just by taking away that order id i have one single association and the synthetic table disappears or i could create my own little uh, key and the way i would do that is by creating something like this where I would say load customer ID and order ID as a customer ID key and I would do the same thing in the other table as well. So those are ways to um, solve your synthetic key issues. So circular references. 
Now these are really dangerous because if you have circular references in your data model, I mean, your the numbers that you're going to get in your dashboards are most likely going to be completely wrong. So please, please, please do not have circular models in your um, in your data model. So what are circular references? So what happens is, uh, unlike in synthetic key, it's not the same between two tables. Instead, what happens is you have Let's say that you have three different tables here. Now customers is connected to your um, product budget by country because customer has country here and country is linked to country in product budget. And then you have another table called orders and here you have customer ID, but this customer ID is linked as well to product budget through product ID. And then the customer ID is linked to the third table through customer ID. So basically you have three tables and each are connected to each other in some way, right? And what, what happens when this uh, data model is loaded is that you get a circular reference. So the click, so click is not able to make a correct connection between this table and this table, this table and this table, and then this table and this table, because they're all somehow connected because they have the same field names. So, um, what does click do? In order to solve this, it just breaks the connection. So what it does is it loosens the connection. So over here, it's denoted by red dotted lines. This basically means that, yeah, customer ID here and customer ID here is connected, but click loosens it just so that the data model can be loaded. And uh, this is not okay. And just because click solves it and the data model is loaded, it means that uh, there is something wrong and you need to change it. So and the way the click decides to loosen the tables is, is it takes the largest table and then it decides to loosen that because it has the most number of rows. Um, and that's the table that will cause issues for click while loading because of the associations. So how do we solve that? Well, first of all, make sure that there is only one connection um, to each of the other tables. So here you have customer and you have country. Okay, so this is basically the customer's country and you have product budget and country. So you could think that this is the uh, country budget for every product in a certain country, right? So you could change the name of this. In that case, you could have a connection where customer ID is connected to customer ID from orders table, product ID is connected to the product ID here, and there is no direct connection between these two. So when you take away this connection, they, you would only have one association between the table and you, your data model would be correct, right? So just by changing this country to either taking this away or if you need it, you could rename this as product budget per country. So giving it a unique name would solve the issue. Let's look at another example here. Let's look at this example here. Now we have customers here and we have country. We have product ID and we have country and you have product id which is also connected to the orders table and the customer id which is also connected to the customers uh, to the orders table right so this is again it's causing a circular connection because country and country is common here customer id is common here product id is common between these two tables so how do we solve this now let's look at which of the how we could take away one of these connections just so then the data tables would be connected with just one association between the two. So for example, I have customers here and have country. I could name this as customer country. So these two are not connected. Or I could rename this products as products country. In that case, these two are not related. Or I could maybe make a change here, product ID. Um, this is actually a good connection because you have orders and you want to know what orders were, uh, were placed and more information about that products here. So the, I would say the most logical solution here is to change this country name. Um, and let's look at what happens when we do that. So whenever you load and you have a circular reference, you get this little warning here and please make sure that when you get this warning, you need to go into your data model and make the change. So here I have product and uh, I have 
country here so in here i'm gonna say customer country and now when i load this voila there is no circular reference <gasps> why because here this if you remember before we had country here was connected to country here as a result there was a circular reference going on but now there's only one connection between the three so if i want the customer's country i will call the customer country field and i will get the name of the countries for the customers and the customers is connected through customer id here and and if i want to know the product's country well from the orders table product id is connected to product id and i have country here for the products so now there's only one association between the three tables and we have taken away the circular reference the dreaded circular reference and your data model is perfect so i hope it helped hope you guys learned something see you in the next one please leave a like cheers